Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Susan Brown, director of the Center for Better Bones. Today we're going to talk a few minutes about the immune system and the lymph system in particular. Now you might have remembered that yesterday Gina Galley in our Exercise Evolution channel, that's Patreon channel Exercise Evolution, Gina spent 30-40 minutes showing you exercises to stimulate the immune system. Now today I'm going to talk a little bit about the immune system and give you some tips for detoxifying and stimulate the immune system, which is particularly important right, during the, right now during the winter when we tend to get stagnant and tend to slow down and there's a lot of infectious agents running around. Now one way to look at the lymph system is to see it as the body's internal vacuum cleaner. Imagine that there's these fluids in the body that have gotten out of the blood into the tissue and their excess fluid just floating around. They could have a little bit of bacteria, a little pathogens, material that's not wanted. You don't want those fluids to cause any problem. They could cause a problem if they remained in the tissue, cause a demon swelling, which would be painful. They could cause a problem if they get res resorbed back into the bloodstream and have toxins or unwanted materials in them. So the immune system is, a big part of the immune system is the lymph that goes around the cells picking up any soaking up this excess fluid vacuuming it up so to speak and sending it through all these channels all the channels send the lymph just flows one way it flows up and down straight up the body and then it takes these fluids all through the body all through this vast channel and eventually ends up recirculating that blood, dumping it right back, that fluid, I mean to say, dumping it right back into the bloodstream up around by the clavicle. But before that happens, the lymph nodes get involved. And the lymph nodes are little nodes that are full of white blood cells that actually serve as stopping stations to detoxify any material that's in the lymph. And so you probably recognize, all of you have probably had a a sore throat where you got swollen glands or swollen glands under your arm. That is a part of the lymph system. The fluids have flowed to that area, say under the arm, and then the lymph system has these nodes, so it flows through the nodes and the nodes then get the white blood cells to purify that material, to attack and remove foreign invade or whatnot. And then when the, when the fluid is purified, it is sent back through other channels right up to the the clavicle and put back into the bloodstream so we don't really lose fluid. Now you might ask one question, well how did that fluid get there in the first place? And this is kind of interesting. As we pump our blood through the body there's a great deal of pressure. They say that pressure is so great that the blood if, is, could go, has a force to go 30 feet to be projected 30 feet from that pumping. In that pumping, the squeezing of those vessels, some fluids leak out. And it's those fluids that leak out that float around the tissue that could cause a problem. It's these fluid that the lymph system vacuums up, cleans up, and puts into recirculation. The lymph system is very complicated, but I hope you understood a bit about it from that simple explanation. The most important part of my little chat today is to say that there's lots you can do to stimulate lymph. Now we know from Gina's discussion yesterday, her discussion in the Exercise Evolution Patreon channel, that it's, it's movement of the muscles that stimulates. And this can be physical movement, like she showed you different stretches, different movement activities, or it can even be deep breathing. Deep breathing is one way to stimulate the lymph. And of course, deep breathing is a central part of all ancient traditions, a way to calm down the nervous system, relax the body, but it also causes the lymph to flow throughout the body. So, Deep breathing exercises, and I'm going to in a second show you some really particular nice breathing exercises. But another typical remedy is ginger with honey. Actually, this is an ancient remedy from Ayurveda that many cultures have taken on. You make some ginger tea, you grate some ginger, make ginger tea, put some honey in it. That really stimulates and helps to make the lymph flow better. The breathing exercises, and those of you that have studied yoga or have studied Ayurveda, the ancient medicine of India, know there's many dozens of breathing exercises. One that's very good for the lymph is called Bastrika, and it's where you breathe, always breathing deeply helps, but with Bastrika you breathe deeply, inhale deeply, and then you exhale with a short burst like 
that you notice how it, the ab how the diaphragm comes up and down it's that diaphragm movement in a quick fashion that stimulates the lymph gina will be showing some of these in her videos it's good to pay attention to the breathing exercises and if you do nothing else than just some deep breathing but if you get a chance to do deep breathing with a strong exhale <sighs> really stimulates lymph Oil massage, oil massage or any kind of massage really helps the lymph because you move it along. Remember, and with massage, you're always, when you're thinking about the lymph, you're always moving up. These vessels have valves, they only flow in one direction. So you want to you wanna do a self-massage. In Ayurveda, this ancient science of Ayurveda, which we've been studying a lot, they like to do oil massages. You can do a dry massage. You can even use these massage brushes. You might have seen the skin brush that serves two functions. One is to exfoliate, to take off dead skin, but the other is to stimulate the lymph. And if I were going to brush massage, I'd massage up the body, like in the direction of the heart, to stimulate the lymph also. In fact, in Ayurveda, they use gloves. They use these little silk gloves that create a certain electrical current and they brush the skin with this in addition to a brush. They massage vigorously the skin. We sort of forget that the body is so vital and living and trillions of cells all interacting with each other and stimulating them, stimulating them even on the surface helps to send a signal for them to wake and become more alive. Massage is a wonderful therapy. Skin brushing is a wonderful therapy. All kinds of exercise, movement of muscles, deep breathing will help stimulate the lymph. So if you're sitting down, get up and do some activity every hour, a few minutes of activity, that would be helpful. And remember that you can find the details on the ex these exercises to stimulate lymph on our Patreon Exercise Evolution channel. Every week, Gina's doing a 40 minute, 40 minute video on a different topic. Every Tuesday, I'll be giving you some tips related to that topic. All of this is to empower you to better manage your bone health, better take charge of your life. Another great empowerment effort we're doing that we're having a lot of fun with is our, our retreats. We've given a few of them so far. They've been excellent. People have loved them. Next time we're coming to the East Coast in May, we're going to be at an Ayurvedic center. So we'll learn more about this ancient traditional culture of India. Spring is a great time to detoxify. Think about joining us. You'll learn everything you need to build your bone, and at the same time, you'll have a great spring adventure in a, at a meditation center in Pennsylvania. It's my pleasure to talk with you. We'll see you all next week.